Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross video on solving an equation with a single algebraic fraction on one side of the equation. So you want to solve this equation, 3 over 2x minus 1 equals 3x. Now our instinct is whenever we're trying to solve an equation with a fraction somewhere, we should get rid of fractions by multiplying through by the denominator of whatever fraction you have. So we've got 2x minus 1 as denominator and that means we should multiply both sides of the equation by that denominator, so the 2x minus 1. So if we do that, if I multiply the left-hand side of the equation by 2x minus 1, it just gets rid of the over 2x minus 1 because the times cancels out that divide there, the over, and you're just left with 3. And if we times the right-hand side of this equation by 2x minus 1, we could write 3x multiplied by 2x minus 1. Notice when you put these two things next to each other, it just means you're timesing them together. So now we want to solve this equation. So all we need to do is just expand out these brackets. So we've got the 3x times the 2x and the 3x times the minus 1. 3x times 2x, well 3 times 2 is 6, x times x is x squared. And then 3x times minus 1 is just minus 3x. So we've now got this equation. Remember, to solve a quadratic equation, we should get everything on the side where the x squared term is positive and zero on the other side, which will be here. So we're just going to minus three, so we have zero on one side of the equation. So that then becomes zero, and we get six x squared minus three x minus three. Now, you might notice that all three of these terms are divisible by three. So we could just divide both sides by three to make our lives a bit easier. Zero divided by three is still just zero. Divide these by 3, we get 2x squared minus x minus 1. And now we've got a quadratic. It's a slightly harder to solve a quadratic because we've got a number in front of the x squared. We say this is a non-monic quadratic. And in other videos, I explore how you can split the middle term to factorise this, but I'm just going to do it by intelligent guessing, just for the sake of time. I can see that these two terms are going to be 2x and x in the factorization because 2x times x in the expansion will give you the 2x squared. I also know that these two numbers have to be 1 and minus 1 in some order because then the 1 times the minus 1 will give you this minus 1 term on the end. Now I believe it's this way around because then in the expansion you get 2x times minus 1 which is minus 2x plus x, which will be minus 1x. So that will expand to give that. Now once we've got that, we just make each of these brackets equal to zero, because if you've got a product of two things equal to zero, then we know at least one of them is zero. Now if 2x plus 1 is zero, just remember the quick way of doing this, you just negate that number and then divide by that. So it's minus 1 over 2. So you get minus half the solution. And then here, if x minus 1 is equal to 1, then x is clearly equal to 1, and that is the final solution.